Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the uh, Waverley Basketball Stadium for this game today between the Victorian Youth Championship men and the uh, Dandenong Rangers team. Uh, the game will get underway in about a minute and a half from, from now. Of course, uh, Dandenong has been playing extremely well over the last couple of games. And their uh, their last time out, last time out, they uh, defeated Diamond Valley by 86 to 65. Waverley has uh, has also been uh, starting to come up. They had a, a bit more of a mixed round last week. They uh, got done by Bulleen, but got up over over Sandringham. I believe it was. Uh, so 83 to 79, a close win there. So, uh, you know, if the if the guys turn up to play, it's going to be an entertaining game. A few changes in the uh, the lineups today. Luke Gurky out for uh, the Falcons and Oroch uh, Oroch Mading. But in comes Tim Leasting. And uh, number 35, M Mangard Dutt. For the Rangers, Jack Saunders is taking a break this week. And Braden Flanagan is taking his place. It'll be interesting to see how they go. Uh, Sidel Threat Senior, the normal coach for the Waverley Falcons, uh, having just got back from the U.S., is a bit under the weather. So uh, Andy Lim now takes control of the game for the Falcons. And Mark Barker for the, uh, the Rangers. So we're ready for a tap, and we're off and running. So Rangers ball, Otterji uh, missed the pass there, it's back down Dutt, and Matt Scammell gets the two points for the Waverley Falcons. Scammell over to uh, Cooper, back out to Scammell. So far, the Falcons are uh, the better of this exchange. Two to zero. Min minute and uh, ten seconds down. And Otterji manages to uh, block Scammell as he goes to the line. Because not a... Nadia Otterji, the brother of uh, Owen, who uh, was a development player and squad player for the Mel Melbourne United team, NBL team last season. Trent Lee picks up the foul and it sends uh, Tenny Pewitt to the line. Tenny makes his first. And misses the second. Rebound, Otterji. Jacketine kicks it across. Now number 15, Trent Lee. 
tries to get there, can't do it. Good defense there from the Falcons. It's back with Pewitt. Pewitt looks for options, takes a three-point attempt, and it's good. Falcons out to a 6-0 lead. 8.15 to go. But John Crichton says we're going to do something about that as he puts in a reasonably easy layup. Scammell gets it across the line, uh, half court in time. Rookie Mai unable to convert. And down the other end. There goes Jacquetine. Again, Falcons being burnt by the very good transition offense of the uh, the Rangers. Scammell shot no good. It's now only a two-point game. Jacketine looks for options. He gets it out to Crichton, and Crichton's two points is good. So all tied up here at the Waverley Falcons home court, the Falcons' nest. We hope you're enjoying the broadcast so far. This game looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Scammell can't go. Cooper behind Odigi doesn't get the rebound, but Scammell is able to intercept. And Rookie Mai goes to the buck basket and finger rolls it in. Jacketine across the Otterji. He's got Lee. Lee's looking inside, ignores that, goes back out the top to Wood. And Riley Wood, nothing, nothing uh, to stop him there. It was a very clever play actually there from, from Wood coming around the top. So subs in for um, for the Rangers. Another three-point attempt from Scammell, no good. And Trent Lee takes the uh, the, the lead out. Two points up to the uh, the Rangers, and there's a timeout there to uh, the Falcons. Andy Andy Lim wants to refocus the guys. So, 4.52 to go, two-point lead to the Falcons, uh, to the uh, Rangers. And a few changes here from the uh, Andy Lim. Rookie Mai sits down and short, Bianaki comes onto court. And for... Um, For well, the Rangers, Bradley is on the court now too. So Lee, being guarded by uh, Puot, gets it over, gets it over to Bradley, and Bradley goes to the rack, can't get it to, can't get it to go. Good rebound, th rebound there from Kinkella. Hugh Baxter also on the court, 
But uh, Pewitt's pass, a poor one. It's now down with Lee. Lee's two-point attempt, no good. Rebound again to Kinkella. He's picked up a few already this game. And there's a foul called this time on Trent Lee. Baxter running a back cut, but Pjort goes himself and runs into trouble. He's come off the Rangers with, uh, with 14 seconds to go on the shot clock. Poor pass in there from the Falcons, and uh, Riley Wood has the attempt at the other end, which... Uh, Cooper is able to uh, put enough pressure on to, to stop going through and he ends up with a rebound. Back with uh, Pewart. Again the back cut. This time he's got Baxter and ignores him again. Look, comes off a screen but the oddity too good. And this time Baxter is the recipient of the pass but steps out of, steps out of line. So Maslick on for Cooper and McKechnie for uh, Kinkella. Another two points there to the Rangers and another turnover from a poor pass. Riley Wood is having a field day at the moment. So turnover count absolutely killing the Falcons at the moment as uh, Baxter puts up a three-point attempt, which is no good. It is um, five turnovers to zero and... Scammell has fouled the uh, Jacatine. So Mako Holland. Holland coming on for Riley Wood. And there's a holding foul on Holland off the ball. So Falcons get their full... Uh, 24 again. So Sean Bernacki going to the line. The uh, Rangers in foul trouble. He can't uh, take advantage of that. Makes a second though. So it's a five point game. Odigy coming back on. Spelling Jacketine. So Falcons without any, any fouls, but they've had the five turnovers. And uh, poor pass there from number 40, Cameron Bradley. Falcons actually get one back. Here's Scammell. Holland uh, putting pressure on him. Scammell drives, got, finds uh, Maslick. Maslick's three-point attempt, no good. Oscar almost with the rebound, but it's got out to Scammell. Scammell has been fouled by Odigy. 
and he'll go to the line. This is uh, this is where the Falcons have got to take advantage of the foul count. Scammell gets the first. And makes a second. Tim Leasing with the ball, he drives hard, pulls up, gets it back to Scammell. Score, 11 to 17. 2.17 to go. Falcons in the bonus. Leasing looks for options, gets across to Scammell. Scammell can't get it to go. He drives. Pullback jumper, doesn't go. Odigy with a rebound. Gets it across now to uh, Flanagan. The reverse layup from close wasn't good, but there was a foul under the basket. Harry Maslick has fouled, and this time it is a shooting foul. So John Crichton for the Rangers at the line. He misses the second, <coughs> and the ball's gone off out of G. Falcons ball. Seven point game. Almost a backcourt violation there. Leasting back out to Maslik. Maslik's three point attempt is good. Falcons needed that. As Mango did is on the court. Ball skipped through. Holland's, Holland's three-pointers answers the last one. Listing double-teamed. He's good enough to get the ball out. It's with Bianaki. Bianaki kicks back. Three-point attempt from him is good. Seventeen plays twenty one. Falcons need to stop. Now that's not quite it as as uh Otigy gets the ball and the foul this time will be on Tim Listing. That's the second for the Falcons this quarter. Kilkella back on for Maslik. Trent Lee comes off a screen, kicks it out to the wing. Flanagan gets it back to uh, Jacketine. Jacketine looking for ups and spins, puts it up himself, and it goes in. Nice move there from Jacketine. Balls down in the post with Kinkella. Kinkella over the top, nothing but net. Two points to him. So Kinkella picks up his second foul, puts Jacketine to the line. 
Four point game is to bring it out to potentially a six. No, it'll only be a five if he gets this second shot. A violation on Dutt. By Dutt, I should say. So he gets his two shots again. Makes the first now. So drops in. Doesn't make the second, but his teammate in John Crichton gets the rebound. And that's where we'll uh, leave it at quarter time. Five-point game. The range is up 24 to 19. And we'll be back in a couple of, in a minute or so with the second quarter. Welcome back with the uh, refs calling the uh, players back onto the court. So Jacketin inbounds the ball to Lee. He's back with Jacketin. Jacketin looking for options to go three. And he makes it. Good start there to the Rangers. Falcons were not... Uh, looking to put any pressure on that shot whatsoever as Tenny Piot is finding it is difficult to get down the court they have to get uh, get their transition game working a lot better here the Falcons Piot goes himself doesn't go no rebound is in there for the Falcons Jacketine again can't get it to go but rookie Mai uh, gets the gets the steal. Back out to Easting, over to uh, Puart. Puart calling for four out. Back into Kinkella. Kinkella's hook shot, no good, and Jack Katine picks the ball up. He's been good so far. It's been. Uh, and over to his teammates in Crichton. Crichton can't go. Leasting with the rebound. Back out to Puart. Puart again holding the ball up, taking it too slowly in my opinion. They've got to put more pressure on, on the, the Rangers' defence here. They're letting them set up too easily. Gets it into uh, Kinkella. Back out to Puart. Puart's three-point attempt is good. Five-point game. Crichton. Over to Lee. 
Back out to Jacatine. Jacatine, another two points. And again, the lack of urgency in the Falcons. Their real downfall at the moment. They've just got to get the ball down, put some pressure there. And the foul. No, it's been a travel. Charging foul. On Leo Cooper. So... Ball's back with Jacketine. He finds the player on the wing. Nearly a great little pass there to a cutting Crichton, but uh, the pass just came off the foot. Ball through hands for the Falcons. But again, way too slow, and now Rookie Myers run into trouble. However, he picks it up and is able to score. And here comes here comes Dandenong. Just a little bit quicker in the, the transition, and now we have the foul on Hugh Baxter reaching in. As there's a bit of a delay while the court attendant uh, deals with the uh, the court. Falcons just staying in the game, courtesy of a couple of uh, ball handling errors there from, from the Rangers. It's still a five-point game. Leo Cooper with the ball. And again, it's gone out of bounds off a, uh, Dragon, a uh, Rangers player. Six seconds on the shot clock, though. Falcons have got to do something here. It's out to Pjord. He can't wait. He's got to get his shot up. He does. Rims out. Crichton with the rebound. Gets it over to Jacketine. Jacketine moving the ball quickly through hands. Now they're slowing it up. It's back out to Crichton. Jacketine. And here's Riley Wood. And his shot is good. Again, Pure slowing the ball down. He's got Rookie Mai. Very static in offense here, the Falcons. Pure tries to create some space. He drives. And this time, this time it's a block. block and it will probably be on Jacketine, I think. So Tenny Pure at the line. Falcons need these two. And he doesn't make the uh, the Rangers pay for uh, that. Defensive error. Makes the second though.
King Cooper with the rebound. <laughs> Gets it across to Scammell. Scammell being guarded by uh, Lee. Sorry, Wood. King Keller under the basket. Goes and is fouled. No, he's travelled. Charging foul, sorry. So Falcons now racking up the fouls with five minutes to go in the half. As Wood's three-point attempt overshoots. Rookie Mai can't get past Lee, who gets it back out to his teammate in uh, Bradley. But uh, Wood then fouls rookie Mai as Mai takes off to try and get the ball down the court with a bit of enthusiasm. It's back with Scammell. Scammell taking on Wood. Rookie Mai now drives, steps around the players. Can't get it to go and, and Kim Keller misses the rebound as Lee picks it and gets it to uh, Jacketine. Jacketine's shot, no good, but it's tapped in there by Crichton. So just like that, the Rangers are out to a 33-25 point lead. As Scammell takes on Wood, pulls up, and the shot is blocked by Wood. The rebound by Crichton, and down the other end, Wood scores. 10-point game. And there's an intercept. Subs call for both teams. Maslick can't control the ball. It's been uh, taken by the Rangers. Lee bringing the ball down, gets it across to Flanagan. And the basket. Jacketine, another two points. Again, he's been, for me, the player of the game so far. Another poor pass there from the Falcons. And there's the conversion. This time by Flanagan. Falcons wanting to have a timeout. Hugh Baxter. Across to Mai. Mai into uh, Dut. Dut. Back into Scammell. Scammell just as the... Uh, Shot clock uh, went off, got the shot up, but down the other end, there's Odigy. And there's the timeout. So all of a sudden, the Rangers, standing on the Rangers, pouring on the pressure. <coughs> and we'll be back in a second after we've refreshed ourselves.
So, ladies and gentlemen, with uh, a couple of minutes to go before the uh, second half commences, we might um, have a quick look at uh, the um, at the leader leaders. What we can see there is Tenny Piot is uh, the points leader for the Falcons. Jacketine. Absolutely killing it for the uh, Daniel Rangers. <laughs> He's been extremely good. He's 14. Uh, and Ryan Wood with eight. But Tenny, uh, Tenny is pretty much on his own there for the Falcons. In the rebounding count, again, we've got uh, the rebounds actually being dominated there by the, the Rangers. Crichton with uh, seven, Odigy with six. The leader for uh, for the Falcons is uh, Daniel Kinkella with four. So we're back, uh, ready for the second second half. And the news, of course, is that uh, the uh, Rangers are absolutely demolishing the Falcons at the moment, forty-five to twenty-seven. Talking about uh, demolishing, the state champ men's team is looking to uh, have a second win of the weekend last night, uh, taking Bulleen to the cleaners by the tune of about 30 points. Could have been 60 at one stage. They were powering along, but they took their foot off the gas just as they had done last weekend. So uh, the Falcons looking to extend their uh, winning streak. Extremely strong uh, team at the moment. It looks in the champ men's team that it's going to be between uh, Carayo Bay, Waverley and Ringwood. With uh, <coughs> McKinnon also in the mix. Another two points there to Odigy. <coughs> Puot. Finds Rookie Mai. Rookie travels. Another turnover. Over to Woods, back to Jacketine. Jacketine can't get it past Cooper, but it's gone off uh, Leo's legs. So it's still a uh, Danny Nong ball. He'll get it to Wood at the top, back down into uh, Lee. Jacketine. Jacketine shot no good. So Falcons holding out, holding out the uh, Rangers at the moment. Rangers have got six seconds on the shot clock. It's back to Lee. Lee drives. He finds Odigy under the basket and he's fouled. This time on Cooper. Cooper.
Cooper now has three fouls. <coughs> Cooper has been quite good this season, stepping up from the under-18 squad. What did you get his first? He makes his first. And the second. Pewart has got to get the ball up, but he turns it over. Poor pass there. Woods, the recipients, now with Odigy. Odigy's got plenty of time to do stuff. Finds Lee. Screen for Lee. And Lee goes to the bucket. Can't get it there. Cooper with the rebound. Falcons at least now running with a bit of purpose. Rookie Mai holds it up. And now we're slowed down again. 15 seconds to go. Tony Pure, again another poor pass, and this man would, with a very simple intercept and and a score, and a tech. Tech this time. So something was obviously said there. Now, would uh, would touch the ball as it went th uh, as it went through the hoop. Nice. Sean Bianaki on the court has scored the first, which of course is uh, touching the ball after the ball has, uh, the uh, the basket has been scored is a delay of game. Obviously, uh, the ref mentioned that, and Lee reacted, causing the tech. As of 2015, it's only a single, single uh, shot attempt for the tech, which is why the Falcons only had the one shot there. Woods in control of the ball, gets it to Jacatine. Jacatine again finds Odigy too easily there. Out to Woods. Woods, three-point attempt, no good. Odigy with the rebound. Back to Woods. He drives and he's fouled. So Leo Cooper with his fourth foul has to take a break. Harry Maslick coming on instead. <coughs> and Jacatine also taking a break. So Daniel Nash uh, replacing Jacatine as Wood scores his first. And the second. Rookie Mai. Hands off to uh, Bianaki. Bianaki across. Out to Scammell. Scammell's shot. No good. And the... So Falcons get the ball back. And now there's a foul on the way through this time. An offensive foul.
nothing going right for the Falcons uh, since the uh, end of the first quarter. Lee down to Wood. Wood kicks it across to his to Nash. Nash is shot, no good. Picked up by uh, rookie Mai. Scammell drives hard. Floater doesn't go. Here's uh, Lee. Now back to Wood and Wood shoots and scores three points. Another three to the total brings the brings the uh, Rangers to 56. And the travel sees another turnover to the Falcons. As Jacketine comes back on. Otterji goes off. And Bradley back on the court. Hugh Baxter look, uh, replacing Rookie Mai. Jacketing can't hold the ball. Bianaki back to Scammell. Bianaki drives, gets it out to Baxter. Baxter. Shot doesn't go. Rebound can Keller. Reverse layup doesn't drop. Now it's back with Lee. Lee driving hard. And again, Jacketing. This time the pass too hot for his teammate. But it's come off a of Falcon's hand. Rebound uh, to the Rangers. Jacketine. Finds Lee in the corner. Lee's shot well over the top, but there's a big foul on the rebounder. John Crichton, and Crichton will go to the line. Hugh Baxter picking up a foul. And it's a timeout here. So Crichton makes his first, inflicting more pain on the Falcons. And the second.
and subs in as Crichton comes off. Otterji comes back on again. Scammell. Baxter almost loses the handle on the ball. He can't get it get around. He finds almost finds Maslik under the basket. Now Lee. Great ball movement there from the Rangers. Two points to uh, Cameron Bradley. Made it look easy in the end. Baxter. Pick and roll, not very efficient there as Baxter drives and this time there's a travel. So Mango did on to the court for, uh, for Harry Maslick. Tim Listing also getting ready to come on. Leon Scammell, that's been a good, good matchup between those two. Balls, balls come off uh, Daniel Nash's hand, so it's now a Falcons ball. Listing into Kinkella. Kinkella looks for options, finds Bianaki and Mut. Sorry, uh, can't get the jam. Otterji ends up with the uh, the ball, gets it to Lee, and again the uh, Rangers really running quickly down the court, putting a lot of pressure on this Falcons defense. Otterji under the basket, can't control the ball it's gone out to Kinkeller and back to Scammell. Scammell drives, pulls up, shot is short, easy rebound there for uh, Otterji. And now down the other end, Dutt able to uh, stop the ball. It's back with Listing, now to Scammell. Bianaki caught in the corner, he finds a way round. Trying to get the ball to do it, and this time it's out of bounds. Baseline ball to the Falcons. Piot, over to Kinkella, better, th better m ball movement through hands that time. But there's Jacketine who drives, <coughs> rejected by Kinkella, but uh, a great move there from Jacketine as he goes coast to coast, or attempts to. Simple little little shot there from Feldman. No Falcon putting pressure on that shot whatsoever. And here's Dutz. Dutz three-point attempt, no good. Rebounded by Crichton, who came back on the court in that last pa uh, last break. It's back to Jacketine. Here he goes, and he's fouled on the shot attempt. Foul from behind. Mango Dutt. That's his second. That's his second foul.
Jacatine makes the first. Misses the second. Good rebound there from Kilkoa. And now the pressure is applied by uh, the Rangers. Bianaki gets it to Pure. Pure King finds Kinkella at low post. Kinkella has got to go. He does do it with the rebound. Do it. Floater over the top. No good. It's now with Crichton. Crichton to Jacatine. Jacatine comes up the screen. It's back down to Crichton under the basket. Crichton can't get it up. Does on the second attempt. Piot now being slowed down. Hands off to Scammell. Scammell comes off. Finds a, finds a nice shot attempt from there. But uh, the rebound falls to the Rangers and the John Crichton's hook shot draws the foul. He'll go to the line. 65 place 28. Can the Falcons get up over 40 points? Can they, can they keep uh, in this game? Can they keep the uh, the Dandenong team to under 80? Makes his first. And the second. Falcons coming through Puyot. Puyot finds uh, rookie Mai who's back on the court. And Mai, two points. Down the other end, it's Crichton who has the two point attempt, doesn't go. And Puyot gets the rebound. Now Puyot. Hands off to Mai. Mai drives again. This time the foul has been called, I think, before the shot. Should be a baseline ball. So Braden Flanagan picks up a foul. His I think first. Rookie Mai gets the, his shot. 31 play 67. And he gets the second. And too easy there for Crichton. Falcons in foul trouble. Don't want to give away a... Uh, Do not want to give away a, a uh, foul at this point in time of the game. And we'll take a very, very quick break and be back with the final quarter. Remembering that the uh, state championship men's game will start at 2.30. Diamond Valley is coming to play the Falcons here in the Falcons Nest. And we'll see you shortly.
So welcome back uh, for the final quarter, the final 10 minutes of this game between the Dandenong Rangers who are leading the home team, the Waverley Falcons by 69 to 32. And it's a Rangers ball to start the final quarter. So the Rangers already uh, have gone to their bench and Tenny Puard picks up the foul on uh, John Crichton straight away. John Crichton again, float it, and it's in, and it's good. And here comes Puart, being pressed down the floor. He goes all the way, and this time, he's drawn the foul. So Braden Flanagan picks up, only his second this time, but Puart has gone to the line. Makes the first. And the second. Flanagan. Poor, uh, poor pass there. Rookie Mai gets the intercept, gets the basket and gets fouled. So he'll go to the line to make it a three-point play. And the foul this time was on uh, Mackay Holland. So rookie gets his three points. Falcons 36. The Rangers 71. Three-point attempt is good. It's up, it's good. Three points. So Holland picks that one up. Tenny Pure can't get anywhere. He's triple teamed. Lets himself run into trouble and cannot get the ball out. Sean Bianchi, Bernacki actually with the steal. And down the other end, Manning with a dunk. He's been just told not to hang quite as long. And at that point, he's going to have a bit of a chat to uh, his coach. Crichton shot, no good. Oscar McKechnie with the rebound, gets it off to Puart. Puart driving down the court. Creates some space, he's going to try and kick it out. He finds Maslik on the outside, and Maslik travels. I like the Puart tried to bring his teammates into the play that time rather than going himself. The time before he over dribbled, got into trouble and didn't have any option. Pure with the rebound. He's picked up quite a few of those this game. Nearly uh, draws the foul. Fianaki this time is fouled. And this time it's John Crichton. <coughs> And the Falcons can't keep the ball in, so it's a, a Danny on ball. 
38, 74, Dan in Ong's way. Don't forget that at 2.30, these champ, state champ men will be playing uh, Diamond Valley. And we'll see the return with Diamond Valley. We'll see the return of Matt McCarthy, who uh, played in this youth uh, league team for Waverley last season. Was moved up to the seniors with Diamond Valley as Wood can't get the shot to drop. Rookie Mai travels. No, he's been fouled. Dandenong unlucky there not to uh, have that travel called. Time out to, to uh, the Rangers. So Matt McCarthy is, is, has been uh, lighting it up for the uh, Diamond Valley Eagles in Champ Men. And unfortunately, the uh, news came through a couple of days ago that he has not made the cut for the under-19 Emus squad. So he made it into the final rounds and didn't quite... Uh, Make the last, the last one. It is absolutely cold here in Melbourne today. So if you're planning to come down to the stadium to watch the uh, the next game, please rug up. If you're watching at home, and hopefully you're enjoying the fact that you are sitting there nice and warm, your cup of tea or coffee and enjoying the efforts of these under 23 lads. And rookie goes to the line. Nice. <laughs> Rookie now is the points leader for the Falcons with 12 points. This to make it 13. And he has indeed. So having a good game here for the Falcons is Rookie Mai. Wood back into Jacketine, who uh, again for me has been the outstanding player on the, uh, the Dandenong squad. Wood stopping the uh, run of Pjord. Pjord picks the ball up and three points. Jacketine bringing the ball back. And there's the foul. So Rookie Mai down for the count, looks like. So Odigi back onto the floor. It's a side ball to the Danion Rangers. Wood will take the ball. Gets it into his teammate in Trent Lee. Crichton back to Wood, into Jacketine. Jacketine finds finds Odigi, and the shot clock beats them all. So no awareness of the shot clock there, and the Dandenong Rangers bench not helping out. They were quiet all the way through that passage of play. Baxter losing the handles on it. And Jacketine, another intercept, gets it across to Lee. Odigi drives. The floater doesn't go, but under the basket there's been a foul. It will be on the Falcons. And it looks to be on Maslick. Falcons. And that will be Harry's third person. And it'll 
Harry's picked up three fouls today. Into Jacketeen. Rebound Kinkello over to Cooper. Cooper, little, little slash, and he's, he's dropped the ball in for two points. Wood driving hard, and there's something going on behind the basket. Cooper pushing. So both teams now, four fouls each. And it's Cooper's fourth. This could be a very slow final quarter with five and a half minutes to go. Kinkella with the rebound, gets it to uh, Puart. Puart now driving, and this time there's a block on Wood. So Puart goes to the line. Again, 5.19 to go in this final quarter. Puart with the first. 46 play 74. Misses the second. Another rebound of Jacketine, who's been racking them up. Odigi back out to his teammate, and now another foul. No, it's, yes, it's an offensive foul this time. Off the ball. And Trent Lee will get his fifth, and he'll be replaced by Wood. So Trent Lee off the uh, off the court. Puart. Got it by close. Just ended up turning it over, and now it's back with Jacketine. Jacketine kicks it across to Wood. Back to Jacketine, who finds his way into the key. Can't ha hold on to the ball, and there's a foul this time. And it's on Maslik. That'll be his fifth, I believe. No, it's his fourth. But it has put Jacketine to the line again. He's been good from the line, too. Tony Puart drives, can't control the ball, gets a tap out to Baxter, and then he fakes the shot and draws the foul, this time from Jacketine. It'll be a three-point three point, uh, attempt, and therefore three shots from the foul line. Falcons trying extremely hard to keep this game under 30 points. Nice. So far, they've won this quarter 15 to 6. After a very disappointing uh, second and third quarter where they scored only 13 points in total to uh, the 45 from the... Uh, from the Rangers. Uh, Pure. Oddity. Three point attempt, no good. King Keller with the rebound. He drives, he goes himself, gets it across to Cooper. Cooper can't get anywhere, gets it to King Keller again, back out to Pure. Puart looking for options. 
Screen from Maslik, he ignores that. And he's been fouled going to the basket. So number five, Noddy Odigi picks up his second personal. Again, Pure going to the line. <coughs> Unable to convert that one. Nice. But he does get the second. And Otterji says, look, I may have picked up the foul, but I'll score under the basket. And great defense there from Wood of the Rangers. Forced Pjord into a travel. So Otterji uh, has got up into double figures with scores and is one rebound away from a double-double. Been very solid under the basket there. Now the bench, the Dandenong bench, is counting down the shot clock, and the shot attempt was deemed good. Ball hit the uh, basket, so they had 14 seconds to go. So for whatever reason, the shot clock uh, did not reset to 14 after that offensive rebound. Oh, good ball movement there from the Rangers. Falcons in a zone and not really moving to the ball. However, it has, has ended up with the, the Falcons. Pure out to Dutt. Dutt's three-point attempt, well short. Jacketine, another rebound, gets it to his teammate and converts. So that was Bradley picking up another two. Score is 50 to 79. Hugh Baxter's two-point attempt is good. Jacketine now slows it down, creates some space. Pulls through hands. It's down to eight seconds. Shot goes up. No good. Rebound King Keller. Cooper's shot is good. Two points and a foul. So Jordan Jacketine called for a push under the basket and Mangardut has got a uh, couple of shots from the charity stripe. Misses that first one. Makes a second. So as far as the Falcons are concerned, this game is all over. They just want to win. And there's a travel there from Hugh Baxter. And the travel's been called. 
I just want to make certain that they are finishing this game off with a with a win. And at the moment, it looks like they have got the the quarter. It's 20 points to 10, and a violation there off uh, the off the foot of Tenny Pure. Two points. Cameron Bradley again. It's racked up a few this game. Pure Scott Baxter. Baxter across the. Do it, gets a jam. Nice shot attempt, doesn't go. Do it with the uh, rebound. Bjork double teamed, almost loses the ball. Gets it into Baxter, Baxter back to Bjork. And the three point attempt, no good. Jacketine with the rebound. He goes all the way himself and is fouled by Kinkella. So Kinkella's third st still sees Jacketine at the line. 81 plays 57. Jacketine can't increase that uh, that gap. Falcons uh, winning this quarter 23 to 12 at the moment. Make that 20, 23 to 13, 25 to 13. Sorry, as the scores just update here on our stat sheet. Again, Pure just holding the ball out. There's four seconds to go. He'll drive. Finds Baxter. Baxter's three-point attempt is good! On the buzzer! Hugh Baxter! And that's the game, ladies and gentlemen. With the news that Dan Ninong, Dan Ninong runs out uh, the winner of this game. 82 to 60. They travel on reasonably unscathed this season. Falcons struggling to, to put the wins together and we'll be back ever so shortly with the champ men's game. So see you in a short period of time.